everyone welcome to my channel so today's video i'm really excited for i think it's gonna be so fun and that is the do i have that book challenge where basically there's a bunch of prompts and you look through your bookshelf to see if you have a book that corresponds to that prompt so yeah this is gonna be so fun i've never done a challenge video like this before and i think it's gonna be just so fun and i got new shelves so i'm very excited to see if i have books that answer these questions i don't have that many books but i don't know we'll see so um yeah also i'm using a ring light so that's why i have like the reflection in my glasses and i can't take my glasses off because i can't see without them but um yeah so uh yeah i know just um get into this challenge so the first question is do you have a book with deckled edges wait what are deckled edges i need to look this up deckled edges uh, oh it's one of, okay oh it's when the paper when the pages look like that oh i do actually have a book like that um right here this one yes miley jane by cynthia hand brody ashton and joey meadows it has deckled edges i don't know if you can tell but it does indeed have deckled edges and i never i never really noticed until now because i haven't read this book yet so Deckled edges. Next question, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Three or more people. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Three or more people on the cover. Why is it so difficult? Three or more people. Oh! The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Oh, that goes down, goes down here. But um, yeah, I have not read this book yet, but there are four people on the cover, so yes. Next question: Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Oh, I actually do. Yes. This is so sexual already. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. So yes, I am getting pretty good at this. Next question, do you have a book with a title 10 letters? Oh, oh wait, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I already used that. That's okay, I'll ask you another one. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that's, no. Nope. Ten. Four, one, oh, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yes. Wait, let me just double check. One, two. Yes, One to Watch by Kate Stain in London has 10 letters in the title. Next question, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. It starts with a T. And ends with a T. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Do you have a mass market paperback book? I actually do. Where are they? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All the way down here. I have a few, actually. I have Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, and I also have Phantom, Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. I don't know why I own this book. I never read it. I bought it for school, but I literally did not need to like actually own the book, so I don't know why I own this, but I have two mass mic paperbacks. I had to adjust my camera because it was like literally slipping for some reason, but um, yeah. What was the, the next question was, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? And I had picked this one, Christina Lauren, The Unhoneymooners, because I'm pretty sure is Christina Lauren, I'm pretty sure it's two authors, right? Let me see. Yes, Christina Lauren is the combined pen name of longtime writing partners slash besties, Christina Hobbs and Lauren Billings. So, yes, this one counts as an author with a pen name. Next question, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? I have a few, actually. Um, I have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love this book so much the audiobook for this one is incredible let me see oh also the seven husbands of evelyn hugo 
I have a few. I have a few. I also have Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Gonna like Chloe Brown. Always and Forever Lara Jean. The Hundred Lives of Lizzie Lovett. I have wow. The Song of Achilles. Yeah, I have a I have a few books that count for that question. So that's fine. Um, next question. Do you have a book with two maps? I know that the Crooked Kingdom Collector's Edition has a map in it, but I don't know if it's two different maps. It doesn't need to be two different. I don't know if it has to be two different maps. Oh, it does have two maps. It has, okay. So it has this one on the front and then this one on the back. So two maps. Next question. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Um, does this account? Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda has the TV show Love Victor, so I don't know if that counts. Uh, let me see that video. I know that Daisy Jones and the Six is being turned into a TV show. Oh, <laughs> here, this one. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng is a TV show that I have not watched yet, but I'm going to read the book and then watch the show. Um, wow, that was very loud. Oh, I also have over here. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, which is a TV show that I really loved. I watched the show before reading the book because I didn't know that it was a book, but yeah, the show for this one is really good. Next question. Do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else, like a celebrity, athlete, politician, and I actually do. This one right here. I Would Leave Me If I Could is a collection of poetry by Halsey, and she is a singer, so yeah. Next question is, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? A clock? I know that this one has a lot of different things on the cover, but I don't know if it has a clock. It does not. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> um, The Inheritance Game. There's a lot of stuff on the cover, but not a clock. Okay. Do I even have a have a clock on the cover? Oh, I put a candle on the cover, but no clocks. Um, no. Ooh, they both diagonal. I know that one's about like time and stuff. Oh, it doesn't have. I know it has clocks on the inside. Does that count? No, it doesn't. Wait, does it have under the cover? Nope. books have clocks on the cover yeah i can't possibly think of any that might have am i even in frame i am definitely not in frame <laughs> um does this one have a clock nope wow yeah i don't think i have any books that have clocks on the cover yeah yeah i don't think i have any dang it <laughs> Okay, uh, next question. Do you have a poetry book? Yes, I have. I already used this one, though, for a question, but I have a collection of poetry by Halsey, so besides that, I don't have any other poetry books, so yeah, I don't know if I can repeat answers, but oh well. Uh, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Oh, I have so many. <laughs> um, the Black Flamingo by Dean Atta has the Stonewall Book Award. I have a few books that have awards on them. Ooh, this one. Winner of the Orange Prize for Fiction. This is A Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I love this one. This one was really good. Um, what else? Yeah, I think, yeah, pretty much it for like awards on the cover. Yeah, I think that should be good. <laughs> Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Oh, God. My initials, are, my initials are CF. Uh, no, it's CM. CM. Oh, I don't think I have any. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I have any. That's funny. Yeah, I don't have any books with an author that has the same initials as me. Oh, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Do you have a book of short stories? I already know that I don't, so next 
We have a book that's between 500 to 510 pages long. I think it's 400 something. Yeah. Let's see. Between 500 and 500. Nope, it's 525. I know these are pretty big boxes. So. Oh my god, this is so cute. 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 Do I even have? I don't think I have. <laughs> Pretty Kingdom. Pretty Kingdom PD. <gasps> no! <laughs> this one has 500 and like 30 pages. Oh my gosh. So I just looked at like almost every single book that I have and none of them are between 500 to 510. They're either under 500 or over 510, which is so annoying. Yeah, I don't have any books between 500 and 510 pages. <laughs> okay, next, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yes, the 12 Boys I've Loved Before, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I think, ooh, Looking Glad also the Fast for a TV show. Um, ooh, The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon is a movie that I have not seen yet, and I also haven't read this book, but. That one is a movie. Ooh, this is not my first. Five Feet Apart is also a movie. I have not read this or seen the movie for that one either. Yeah, I have a few books that were turned into movies, so that's exciting. Um, next, do you have a graphic novel? I have a lot. Can you even... Oh, you can't really see my graphic novel shelf, but I have all of all those graphic novels. What should I show? I'm going to show you. <laughs> I have... The first two volumes of Heartstopper by Alice Boseman. I love these graphic novels so, so much. So yeah, I have an entire graphic novel show, but yeah, I love graphic novels. I'm starting to get into them more. So yeah, these are so good, so cute. I love them so much. Oh, last question. <laughs> Do you have a book written by two or more authors? I already used that one. So I don't want to like use the same one again. I already have. Oh, here. Oh, I already, I already used that one. Oh, I can use this one. What if it's Us by Becky Albertalli and Silvera? That's two authors. So, yeah, I think that one was all the ones that have two or more authors. All the other ones that have two or more authors, I've already mentioned. So, yeah, what if it's Us? This is the first book that I read during quarantine which is when I started getting back into reading this got me out of my like two year long reading slump I read it in a day it was so it was so cute I love this one I think it's gonna be a second one which I'm very excited for so yeah so those are all the questions for the do I have that book challenge this was so fun I love looking through my bookshelves and seeing which books I did and didn't have and I didn't have books for I think like two or three questions which is kind of annoying but I actually had books for a decent amount of questions considering that I don't have that, that many books so that was fun I really I really enjoyed doing this challenge I know that there's a do I have that other book challenge which I'll probably be doing in like a few months once I get like more books but yeah I thought that was so fun I love doing this challenge video I don't know what I'm doing I'm just like <laughs> I never really stand up when I'm recording videos so I don't know what I'm doing right now but yeah this video was really fun but um yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.